Hey guys, photography involves a lot of jargon. And now you may understand the basics of it, you may not have even heard of some of the concepts, but it's kind of handy to have an in-depth knowledge of it. But some of it is pretty damn nerdy. So today I thought I'd bring along a nerd who can break down some concepts for us, starting off with hyperfocal distance. So I'd like you to welcome that nerdy Nikon guy. Welcome, nerd. <coughs> uh, yes, hello. Um, I brought along one of my many eye devices to discuss this with you. So you can calculate hyperfocal distance with the following equation. H is your hyperfocal distance equals F squared over NC plus F, where F is focal length, N is the F number, or F over D for aperture and diameter D, and C is the circle of confusion limit. You're welcome. Are you serious, that's it? Oh God, okay, I'll give it a shot. Okay, so clearly hyperfocal distance has something to do with your focal length and the aperture that you're set at. Essentially, your hyperfocal distance is the distance at which you focus your lens, so whether you're focusing a foot away from the camera or a meter or 10 meters or 100 meters, whatever, it's the focus distance that maximizes your depth of field so you have as much of the image sharp as possible given the focal length of the lens and given the aperture that you have. Okay, so how it actually works is when you have your lens at hyperfocal distance, half of that distance to infinity is going to be in sharp focus. Let's put some numbers on that. So if your combo was a hyperfocal distance of 10 feet, that means that from five feet to infinity is going to be acceptably sharp. Now, why is that handy? Well, there's heaps of reasons why that's handy. For example, if you're shooting landscapes, you're using a full frame camera, you're at 14 mil, and you're gonna be shooting at f16. It's really handy to know that your focal hyperfocal distance is 1.39 feet. That means everything from point, if you focus at that distance, everything from 0.7 of a foot to infinity is going to be sharp. So if you are sticking with those settings, you can just focus at that distance and know that you know pretty much the entire shot, apart from the first little tiny bit from the camera, is going to be sharp, really handy. Likewise, if you're shooting with an old manual focus film camera on the street, so it's a 35 mil, you're shooting with a 35 millimeter focal length lens as well, and you're at aperture f8, then you can know that your hyperfocal distance is 5.19 meters. So if you focus to that distance, everything from 2.6 meters to infinity is going to be sharp. So if you're shooting on the street and people aren't going to be very often closer than 2.6 meters from you, you can focus to 5.19 and know that them and everything to infinity will be sharp. So that's a really handy thing to keep in mind. Now, older lenses actually had it written on the lens so you could tell where the hyperfocal distance was depending on your settings. New ones generally do not. But if you're going out shooting in a situation where you're going to have your settings like that and it would be handy to know what your hyperfocal distance is so you can maximize your depth of field, just go online to one of the calculators. I'll pop a link in the caption below. Find out what the distance is for your particular setup and settings that you're going to be using and then you can just roll with it. Really, really useful stuff. I'm sorry that the nerdy Nikon guy wasn't too much use, but if you did enjoy this, then please leave a comment, leave a question of a particular topic he'd like covered off, and we'll see if we can drag him away from his online gaming community long enough to come back and chat some more. Thanks guys, please click the like and subscribe, jump over to thatnikonguy.com, you can sign up to our mailing list, and I'll see you soon.